sit back, relax, and prepare to be curiously content. Half a Button by Lynn Littlefield Hoops Pictures by Trish Parcel Watts Screen door wide. 
William's mother and father lay back in the sun. William put his head on Grandpa's knees and felt the sea rocking inside him, rocking, and the waves washing, and the sun heating the rock. He slept. Then he heard Grandpa's boots, soft through the grass, felt Grandpa's shoulder under his cheek, Grandpa quietly walking, carrying him down the blackberry path. Already it was time to go home. Everyone was on the dock getting ready, and Grandpa was holding William's hand. Soon they had everything. They pushed away and a little puff filled their sails, scooting them along, out of the cove. William looked back at Grandpa. First there was just a little water between them. Then the water grew and grew, and Grandpa stayed there on the dock watching. He waved and William waved back. William waved and Grandpa waved back. William's mother and father were busy sailing, but William was watching Grandpa, and he knew Grandpa was watching him. Soon they sailed past the point. William could not see Grandpa now, but he knew he was still on the dock, there with the little puffs blowing round in the cove. William felt in his pocket for the half button. He pulled it out, and he and his mother and father sailed on, round the farthest point, and on, away from the little cove and Grandpa. William sat low out of the wind and held the button, a perfect half button, with two holes, red and worn by the sea. Thank you for watching.